My name is Carol Gully, Spiritual Care Chaplain at Rhodes Hospice, and I would like to welcome you all to this Light Up a Life service. Usually at this time of the year, we would have the opportunity to come together with others at our Lake of Light service at Canoe Lake and at our Tree of Light service at the hospice for those who have been recently bereaved. Unfortunately, we all have to do things differently because we need to keep each other safe. Today, we may not be gathered with others around the lake or around the tree but I hope you will feel a part of this as we take this time together to remember and to give thanks for those we love and who are no longer with us. You may wish to light a candle wherever you are as you remember and celebrate the lives of your loved ones. You may wish to light up a window in your own home, but whatever you do, I hope you will know that many others are doing the same and that you will feel connected. Hello, my name is Ruth White. I really hope you're going to really enjoy something that we've actually developed for you this year. Recognising that at this time of year at Christmas and throughout the festive season, it's a time when many families come together to remember those who have died and who are with us no longer. And many of you will join us at the Canoe Lake and those who are more recently bereaved here by our sycamore tree in the grounds of Rowan's Hospice. Of course, social distancing and the coronavirus pandemic has prevented this. And sadly, we have to look at other ways to actually bring an opportunity to remember to you at this time. So we have developed a small service in Thanksgiving, which will be live streamed out to you. And we've also got a, a beautiful remembrance tree, which people can dedicate lights to um, through going through our, our website. So we really, really hope that you will enjoy these things to remember people at this time. We can't offer you the events, but we know so many people are still doing everything they can to support us at this time with your own fundraising and your own support bubbles and with your groups of six until the present lockdown that we're in. So thank you so much for your support. Um, we have been very much part of the NHS coronavirus pandemic effort and we will continue to be. Um, we will keep our services running as long as we possibly can, as long as we can fund them. And with your help, we'll do it together. Thank you. And may I take this opportunity to wish you a very Merry Christmas. You. You are my grief. You are my disbelief. My darkness and my light. You are bright sunshine and the weeping rain. You are the sleeping leaves, the splash of waves. You are the vanished garden, the silent swing. You are the flight of birds, the sharp remembering. And when I light this candle and say your name, you are the candle, you are the flame.
hope. When life feels dark and you're alone, thoughts confused with nowhere to turn, living within a storm of emotion, the pain of loss, such a terrible burden. Wanting the world to stop its pace, how can a life without darkness be ever faced? Reach out to those who care, have courage that lighter times will reappear. See the stars shining through, allow the colours of the rainbow to embrace and comfort you. Feel the inner storm subside, allow hope to be by your side. The sun will shine again in a new quietness of a day. Trust in new beginnings, it will be okay.
we come to a time to remember. We come to light candles for those we love. So as we look at these lights, let us remember as they shine in the darkness. Lord of light, we give thanks for each of our loved ones we remember here today. We give thanks for every treasured memory of them, for the many ways in which their lives have touched ours, and for all that we were able to share with them, in the difficult times as well as the good. For all that they have given to us, in our sadness, but with thanks, we remember them. Let's pause as we remember with grateful hearts in a time of silence, those we love as we look at the lights. in the rising of the sun and in its going down, in the blowing of the wind and in the chill of winter, we will remember them. In the opening of buds and in the warmth of summer, in the rustling of leaves and the beauty of autumn, we will remember them. In the beginning of the year and when it ends, when we are weary and in need of strength, we will remember them. When we are lost and sick at heart, when we have joys we yearn to share, we will remember them. In the shining of our lights, thinking of those we hold in our hearts, we will remember them. So long as we live, they too will live for now they are a part of us. We will remember them and hold them in our hearts.
Hope, a light that guides us. Hope, a light that is our day. How quickly darkness can descend though, taking our light away. Darkness can be a deep and present ocean lapping at the shores of hope. How quickly those deep dark seas can turn, despair's incoming tide, erasing the path we knew along the sand, our light, our hope, our guide. Those footprints were made together along hope's sandy shore. We shared hope and dreams along the way, but when hope faded, and darkness came, those tracks were to be no more. Waves of sadness, sorrow, darkness, crashing onto hope's eternal shore. But as storms subside and dark tides turn, hope lights our day once more. We all have darkness, light and shade, sadness, sorrow, pain, but let hope illuminate our way as we move forward again.
Hello, I'm John Watkins, Honorary Chairman. What a year! We've all had our resilience severely tested during these past eight months. Yet despite the worst that the Covid crisis was able to throw at the Rhones, it's responded by opening three additional inpatient beds, by seeing 35% more patients in the community, and by continuing to provide vital bereavement counselling and other services online. All these have taken uh, a huge amount of pressure off local NHS resources, particularly inpatient beds and community nursing services, and we are committed to continuing to help the NHS in whatever way we can until this crisis has passed. I recognise that this has been a particularly painful time for those who have suffered bereavement and it's affected both young and old. Indeed, one child in every UK classroom under the age of 16 has been bereaved of a parent or sibling. Running Light Up A Life and Tree of Lights this year virtually is necessarily a second best option. Yet nonetheless, I hope that anyone who's struggling with bereavement will derive some comfort from knowing that we are open and able to offer help and support for as long as is necessary. I'm extremely proud of what the Rhodes has been able to achieve during this difficult year and immensely grateful to all of you who work so tirelessly to help the Rowan's Hospice Charity in so many ways. Thank you. We have now come to the end of this Light Up A Life service and I'd like to thank all those people who have contributed and taken part and all those who have worked so hard behind the scenes to make this service possible. The Rowans is a beacon of hope for so many people in our community and I hope that knowing that the lights on this tree will shine on through the dark winter evenings will bring you comfort. Thank you for joining in this service. May I wish you all a peaceful and safe Christmas.